Dr. Rob DiMartino with Superior Health Solution. In today's video, what I wanted to talk about was type 2 diabetes because I find that there's a lot of confusion about exactly what type 2 diabetes is, what causes it, and ultimately that's the biggest question because whenever we're trying to deal with any of these kinds of problems, we want to try to get as far upstream as possible and find out the cause of these things because if you can affect things at its cause, symptoms and problems then have more of a chance of going away. So let's define terms first off. Type 1 diabetes is very different. Type 1 diabetes is an autoimmune disease. It's where the body accidentally attacks the pancreas. It kills the cells of the pancreas that will produce insulin. So type 1 diabetes in specific nature is an autoimmune disease that causes you to not have enough insulin. And what insulin does in your body is it takes the blood, the sugar that's in your bloodstream, and it'll bring it to the cell and like a key it'll open it up and it'll put the sugar inside the cell so the cell can use the sugar for energy so it can run all of its functions. Now what type 2 diabetes is is much the opposite of that. Type 2 diabetes is when your body produces enough insulin. It actually produces more than enough insulin and too much insulin because what happens is your cells become what they call insulin resistant. The insulin physically cannot get inside the cell. It can't use its key. It can't open the cell. It can't put the sugar inside so that the sugar can be used for energy. It's got to go somewhere, so where does it go? Well, your body will start mass producing fat cells and depositing the sugar in there, which is why you tend to see so many type 2 diabetics struggle with weight gain. But at its core, at its nature, type 2 diabetes is all about figuring out why and how badly somebody's resistant to their insulin versus just looking at their blood sugar levels on a blood test because while that's a helpful number, at the end of the day, it's just a symptom. What we need are what their insulin levels are because that will help us predict if somebody is going to become a diabetic, how fast they will become a diabetic, and if they are a diabetic already, how bad is that going to be? These are really important things to know on blood working because it helps us again to get to the cause as to why insulin resistance. We used to call type 2 diabetes adult onset diabetes because most people got it later on in life. They had to get rid of the adult onset because we had so many kids being diagnosed with this problem because it's again a problem of insulin resistance, not a problem not creating enough insulin. It's gotten so bad now, we're into what they call type 3 diabetes, which is where somebody becomes insulin resistant, which makes them type 2. The insulin resistance gets so bad that the pancreas actually stops production of insulin and then they're required to take direct shots of insulin. It's a whole new issue that's going on now that we have to deal with in a totally specific way. This, even if you listen to popular press, this is a problem that 90% of the time can be solved. There's information available. Check out our website, check out the information below, get on our newsletter, find those out. We do lectures on this topic all the time because this can become a really serious health problem. It can cause heart disease and cancer. It can even cause renal failure and kidney problems. This can become a serious health challenge and it's something that's incredibly solvable. We want you to be able to take control of your health. Check out below where you can get more information. Again, I hope this helps.